Dance with me, Dad again. Doesn't sound the same, does it? <laughs> Dance with me, Father again. That's the quite the nice ring, doesn't it? Joe McKelvey is my guest. Welcome, Joe. Hello. How are you? The man with the big smile. <laughs> when did I last see you on the telly? Were you on X Factor Extra? Um, oh. I was on what you mean recently? I was on a chat show recently. Chat show recently. Were you on X Factor Extra? No. Were you on um, um what's your name now? The, the late night. I've seen you so much. Yeah, I've been I've been pretty much everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I've been quite a busy, busy boy. Now, pop star to opera star. Yes. W when you got asked, what did you think, Joe? Well, I was supposed to have that time off. I was just going to take some time off in the summer and chill out. And when I got asked, I just thought, oh, yeah, it'll be a fun project to take part in. Didn't think it would have in the slightest bit of an effect on anything to do with my career because it was so different to what I did. No, but it could, you um, could have made a fool of yourself. Exactly. Well, that's big, what I meant. I, it's a big step. Yeah. Well, I just thought it was going to be something fun. It would be a bit of a laugh, um, a bit of a Mickey take, to be honest. Mm. And and then when I got on there, I realised I was actually going to have to learn how to sing classically. Mm. And I got a bit of a shock, to be honest. And then I realised, like, what have I let myself in for? And it, you know, going out there singing a different style that you're not used to, and singing some of the most well-known mm. songs in the universe. Long bush exactly. as well. <laughs> If you mess them up, you know, the opera critics are pretty harsh. They don't take any rubbish. Well, the, the, as far as they're concerned, it's a travesty even, even holding a competition exactly. like this, you exactly. know. Um, but it isn't breathing importance, apparently, with opera, more than with pop. I mean, I'm sure you'd never consider your breathing as much in pop as you, you do now in opera. Bre well, breathing in singing is, like, vital no matter what style you're singing, mm. but it's a different style of breathing in opera and classic, classical singing. Um, I, I don't like to say opera because I'm not opera trained, I'm not classically not trained, but yeah. classical style. Um, you've got to be really relaxed, whereas with pop music, the, it, there's a lot of tension in your jaw, and it kind of all comes by the tension of your jaw, and that's how you get the fast notes out and the little rifts and things. Whereas mm. classical, it's got to be really open, lower jaw, breathing from right underneath your diaphragm. It's, it's a lot more technical, but it's a lot easier because you're, you're, everything's in the right place. And you probably knew the press would all be skidding at you, what Joe McClary going for pop star or something. Because you know what they're like with X Factor contestants. Oh, well, you know, they, 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 would, they would be skidding at us if I, did, if I did anything, to be honest. So I was just like, can you, can you take that okay? Well, yeah. Did you always come over to me as someone who would hate it easily? I think people think that, but to be honest, I just let it go over my head. And oh, they slag good. everybody off. You yeah. know what I mean? It's not just me. It's everybody. They've got something to say about yeah, but everybody. But everybody else getting the slag doesn't hurt as much as yourself getting the slag. Yeah, but does I think it? I think if it was just me and they were being nice about everybody else, I would be like, oh well, that's a bit unfair. But because it's everybody else, it's just like it's chip paper the next day. Get, oh. get, just get over it. And, and, just, and you know what? So much with these classical people who turn the nose up. But you know what, Joe? Reverse. They couldn't do it. Uh, well, exactly. They could yeah. not do it. No, you can't. Because I've said that. I've, I've heard attempts before. I've heard some of the really big opera stars yeah. attempting pop. It's impossible. The, the hopeless. It's impossible because once you've trained the 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 opposite way. So if you train classically, you can't switch to pop because it would damage your voice so much that it would just ruin it because it's so technically and kind of a regimented style of singing that you can't switch. Yeah. I mean, apparently when when he when he became big, the the opera people were sending hit squads after Russell Watson. Really? It was in hiding for years. Jose Carrera said, "Hey, Jose Carrera said the mafia looking for him." No, but the thing is, is you know, I think it's uh, it's obviously a very critical style of music. But you yeah. know, I don't try and pretend to be something I'm not. I'm yeah. I'm not a classically trained singer. I did that show. I really enjoyed it, and I wanted to kind of reference some of it on my album. I'm not trying to say that I'm some kind of worldwide yeah. opera singer. So I kind of just enjoy the fact that singing in a different language and singing in that style, I really enjoy it, so that's the main thing. But this new album, Classic, you must, you must look at it and think to yourself, I never thought I'd be singing the, those tracks. I you never know, picked them in a month or something. Exactly, every night on tour, I'm on tour at the minute, yeah. and every night I finish the show with Ness and Dorma, and I still can't, yeah. I still, every night I'm like, yeah. I can't believe I'm introducing this song, because it just feels so weird uh, that yeah. I'm singing one of the biggest songs in the world. Yeah. And it just shows you how things change, you never know what's around the corner. And they all stop and wait, don't they, for that note? <laughs> for that high note, yes. Yeah. So if you have a sore throat, you're in trouble. Exactly. Because <laughs> I used to be the same, I mean, I, Roy Orbison was an idol of mine, and Roy could hit top C, no bother. 
And every time I went to see him in concerts, if he did running scared or crying, when he comes to the big note, I always said he's not going to get it. But he always did. It is. I think that that's the thing with those classical songs. The, the them kind of songs where they have you on the edge of your seat right the way through. So at the end of the song, it just you're overcome with all these emotions. Yeah, yeah. And even singing them as well, they're so kind of emotionally... They have these emotional attachments that just make something happen to somebody when yeah. they hear them. Yeah. Uh, which it, is brilliant. That's right. Even though people have the faintest idea what you're singing about, <laughs> it emotionally affects them, doesn't it? You know what I mean? They don't know what you're saying at all. And we, you know what? We, we, we actually thought about putting some English translations in the, well, in the album booklet. Neil Sedark has done it. But then I thought, I thought, you know, let's, let's leave a bit of mystery, mystery to it. Okay, well, good. I'll play a record for you after this, Joe, as well. Being stage, well. that dance with my father again. You, you did that for your audition for X Factor as well. Yes, um, it was. I absolutely love that song, and I grew up listening to, to singers like Luther Vandross, Tina Turner, Michael Jackson. You know, my mum had all those yeah. those, those albums playing. So I've always loved that song, and I just I was I, I was so happy that I got to put it on the album. You know, co wrote it. Who? Uh, who, who co -wrote? Richard Marks. Oh, really? Yeah. Right. And you know, do you know Joe when Britain's Got Talent? Uh, Britain's Got Talent, um, Joe, well, Jai. Yes, 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 yes. Well, the, the big song he sang about um, Missing You, that's another Richard Marks song. Oh. I was amazed, you know. And I had Richard on the show not too long he ago. Has wrote and he never mentioned anything he's about wrote those, some you know. Songs. Yeah. Some and that is a beautiful song. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. a beautiful song. It's a great song. It's, that's, that's an emotional song. Yeah, it is. You know, I sing that on the on the show as well, and sometimes I have to kind of I have to put a glaze over my yeah. eyes because I, I, I can tell, just look out and see. I tell you as well, what I bet you there's a few classical artists who would like to sing that song. It it I, I, it has a bit of a kind of classical yeah. feel to it. Yeah. The lyrics and how it's a very dramatic song, um, and I love the way Luther Vandross did it with that kind of R and B oh, yeah. style to it. Yeah. But it was really cool. So when we did it as well, I wanted to kind of. Because we were doing the classic album and calling it classic, I wanted to kind of get that orchestra feel on it and really yeah. strip it back. So it was. It, it is a very, very emotional song. Okay, now you have the uh, Philharmonic call tonight. I am, yes. You've got a great support act as well, The Reason yes. For. Yes, those guys are brilliant. They're in here at four o'clock. Very good guys. Good lads. And they're, they're lucky they are their own bouncers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were telling me about this the other day. Actually, they were saying about um, they were at a gig and they sometimes have to like kind of pull each other out of situations and it gets a bit crazy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's hear a track from the classic album. This is Joe and Time to Say Goodbye. <laughs> 